A million people have memberships where they're paying 15 or 20 or 30 bucks a month, but they hardly ever go. So they, oh, I have a gym membership, but it only works if you actually go and do it. So just buying it doesn't actually help. All right, you. so the next uh, episode of Would I Buy This is a turnkey fitness and wellness center. Um, so interesting kind of business that um, I generally wouldn't buy because I think a lot of the fitness stuff that you see tends to be fatty, like Orange Theory was big for a while and then it kind of faded and then F45 has been you know, coming on strong for a while. Spin centers were all the rage. Everybody wanted to get on a spin bike and then they kind of got out of that. Yoga comes and goes, it never goes away, but it's, you know, comes and goes. Jazzercise was big 35 years ago, and then, you know, Zumba and all this stuff. So I feel like the, the boutique sort of fitness stuff is fatty. So it might be good if you get in early and then you get out before it kind of goes away, but you, you're gonna have trouble running it maybe for the long term. And then there's the other end of it, like the planet, fitness and 24 hour fitness and stuff where their model is it's cheap and they want to sign up as many people as they can who never show up, right? That the equipment never gets used because a million people have memberships where they're paying 15 or 20 or 30 bucks a month, but they hardly ever go. So they, oh, I have a gym membership, but it only works if you actually go and do it. So just buying it doesn't actually help you. But that's their model is to make it cheap and mass appeal and sign people up for recurring payments and then hope that they never really come and use the equipment. Um, so this looks like the sort of the more boutique model, but let's see what the numbers are. So they're asking 1.8 million. Uh, gross revenue is 1,381,594, which is a nice specific number. I like that. And cash flow is saying 537. 007. So they're using real numbers. They may be right or not, um, but at least they're reporting real numbers, which is nice. They don't have anything for fixed assets, which these kinds of businesses generally involve a pretty significant investment in all the equipment. So that would be a nice number to know. Um, but based on the cash flow, the price is maybe a little high. I would say maybe 1.5 million would be a more reasonable number for this. But let's see if there's anything in the description that tells us anything different. Nestled in the heart of Houston, thriving fitness and wellness center, uh, founded in 2016. So they made it through COVID, which is good because a lot of gyms had a real hard time in COVID. 8,500 square feet, solid base of 500 loyal customers. Um, and here they say the equipment is valued at over $400,000. So, 500 people and there are a million three. So those people are paying around 170 bucks a month, something like that. Quick math in my head, which, you know, always check the math in my head. I could be off. So it's definitely higher than your planet fitness or your 24 hour fitness um, type of thing, but it doesn't seem like they have, it's not like a CrossFit or a system. It's just a small boutique gym. So, I don't know, it could could be good. Um, they also have merchandise sales, it says, um, and some group fitness classes. So I don't know, if you're into gyms, if fitness is your thing and you wanna have a fitness oriented business, you know, this could be good. It's not tied to a specific type of workout, so you're not stuck with that fad problem, um, but you are trying to recruit people to a much more expensive than average uh, general gym. So that could be a challenge, but I mean, it's not a bad business. I'd say it's priced a little too high. It's worth investigating though, if this fitness and gyms is something that you'd be interested in. And then if the model works there, you might be able to expand it into other areas, maybe open one in Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, uh, and build the brand out three or four locations. You'd probably then be able to sell the business for five or 6 million bucks. So it definitely, if that's this is up your alley, it could be a good fit. It's um, something I'd check out if I was interested in gyms at all.